mimi kwanza nataka ni wapongeze nimefurahi hata zaidi ninyi kunipa nafasi e, niweze kupata masomo kidogo kuhusu mambo ya artificial insemination na vile vile kufungua liquid nitrogen plant e, ya hapa Kabete and um, I think it is correct to say that the transformation of Kenya will be influenced heavily by the transformation of the agricultural sector. Our economy is still heavily influenced by what is happening in, uh, with our agriculture whether we are talking about fisheries, whether we are talking about agriculture itself, livestock, that still contributes a huge percentage to our gross domestic product. And therefore, every occasion that we have as government to do something about our agriculture is an occasion that we don't take lightly. And that is why this occasion is very important for millions of farmers across the country. There are significant things that today we are focused as government in trying to achieve, especially the transformation of the agricultural sector. As has been said, we have identified key areas in agriculture, apart from irrigation, to improve the production in, in the agricultural sector, subsidize uh, seeds and fertilizer, again, to enhance our production, and making sure that the whole agricultural sector is that much more mechanized and competitive and productive. This occasion again gives us another opportunity to move the dairy sector to the next level. I remember I have had this discussion many times with the Ministry of Agriculture and I'm happy that today what we thought about doing two years ago, today we are launching the first liquid nitrogen plant here. We will do the same in Yandarwa, we will do the same in Meru, in Eldoret, in Sotik, and in Taita Taveta shortly. That will not only enhance service delivery with respect to artificial insemination, but it will make it that much more cheaper to our farmers. It is expected that with the rollout of these liquid nitrogen plants in the stations that I have mentioned. And in addition, I have directed the Ministry of Agriculture to include Kakamega, Kilifi, um, Marsabit, and Kitale. <laughs> so that by next year, we should be able to have additional centers where we can access liquid nitrogen together with um, semen that we can use to transform our cattle herds around the country. It is important that this liquid nitrogen plant rollout plan succeed because our animal herd in the country suffers from a bit of depression occasioned by inbreeding insufficient AI facilities that makes it that much more uncompetitive. A huge section of the country does not have access to artificial insemination. I am told 34 out of 47 counties have some measure of access to artificial insemination. We progressively will engage county governments to make sure 
that artificial insemination is available in every county of Kenya. So that again, every farmer, wherever it is that they are, they will not only have an opportunity to have access to artificial insemination, but that service will be affordable and will be available at the shortest time possible. I want to congratulate Kagri for the development that they have shown. We gave them a little money last year. We've seen what they are doing. Government is going to enhance the budget that will be available for this institution to train more professionals and to get modern equipment so that we can make semen available and of the right quality to all our farmers. Again, it is important for us to note that to be able to expand access to new high quality breeds, partnering with the Polish government, for the first time we will have facilities for embryo transfer made available to Kenya. Already, we have asked the Agricultural Development Corporation to prepare facilities again in Kitale so that um, we can bring equipment for embryo transfer that will cut down the time required to get hybrid cows from 15 years to three years. And with the facility that we are going to um, to acquire, we will be able to get at least 50,000 embryo transfer facilities every year, so that in five years, we will have gotten enough, um, enough breed of pedigree or high quality cows, especially for dairy so that again we can use that facility to improve the quality of our breed and enhance the productivity of our uh, dairy cows. I want to encourage farmers to progressively work with the county governments and the uh, artificial inseminators to eliminate areas of inbreeding and to eliminate uh, cows or, or, or our dairy cattle being of a lesser quality because of using the same bull for a long time and sometimes um, not giving opportunity for uh, new breeds to be, to be, to be rolled out. Yani nimesema, mimi nataka ni waulize wakulima na mina joa wakulima wana nisikiza. Ya kwamba mbali na facilities ya nitrogen plant ambazo tumesema tutaweka katika sehemu mbalimbali ya Kenya na mbali na kuwauliza county government zote wajipange ili tuweze kushirikiana na wao tuweze kupata liquid nitrogen plant na mbegu ya kisasa ya ngombe ya mifugo hasa ya dairy ama ya maziwa na ile ngombe ya nyama pia embryo transplant facility ambayo tumekubaliana na serikali ya Poland ya kwamba tutakuwa nayo eh, tayari tumemaliza tender hopefully we should be able to begin the delivery of those facilities beginning early next year pia tutaweza kupunguza siku ambazo zi, ama wakati ambao unahitajika tuwe na ngombe pedigree kutoka miaka 15 mpaka miaka 3 ndio wakulima wengi waweze kupata nafasi ya kupata ngombe ambayo ni ya um, hali ya juu ya kuzalisha maziwa na pia ngombe ya nyama vile vile hizi liquid nitrogen plants na ile program yote ambayo tunafanya tunataka kupunguza gharama ya eh, mbegu kwa wakulima saa hizi mbegu kwa average ni karibu shilingi 1500 Tunataka next year when we roll out all these liquid nitrogen plants 
that price should come down by half. Na inawezekana. Na pia nataka niwaulize county governments na wizara yenyewe wachunguze ni kwa sababu gani mbegu ambayo tunazalisha hapa kwa shilingi miambili na hamsini inafika kwa mkulima shilingi elfu moja na miatano. Ni nini inafanyika hapo katikati? What really happens? That is the question, that is the hard question that we need to answer as public servants. If we produce semen in this facility at 250 shillings, how does it end up to the farmer at 1,500? That's the, the hard question we need to answer. There is absolutely no reason there is no justification for that kind of increase or that kind of uh, escalation of price from production to the end user, the farmer. And I want to ask health service providers, um, managers of uh, um, the agricultural and livestock sector in counties to begin to interrogate why we have costs that cannot be explained, that are not justified being transferred to ordinary farmers. The facilities we now have, these liquid nitrogen facilities we now have, should cut down that cost by half. We want county governments to step up their uh, um, engagement with the farmers so that again we can look at areas where we can cut down costs because Ultimately, if we can make artificial insemination affordable to farmers, we will increase the quality of our herd, we will increase our production of meat and milk, and it's going to be a bonus for everybody in the value chain. And I think that should be our target. Nilikuwa Mahali na nilikuwa naambiwa ya kwamba kuna jamaa moja alikuwa ameenda kwa jirani yake kuuliza yeye eh, tafadhali nipatie ngombe yangu inahitaji ndume tafadhali unipatie ndume eh, iende kunisaidia kufanya hiyo kazi yule mjamaa akamwambia jirani yake lakini hii ndume yangu iko busy sasa haiwezekani eh, nikupatie hii ndume na unajua ndume hakuna kazi nyingine inafanya sasa hiyo kusema busy ni kusema wewe uende utafute AI facility waja kuzumbua jirani yako na, na ndume yake kwa sababu ndume imewekwa kwa mtungi sasa unaweza kupata ndume ambayo inaweza kupatia mbegu mzu, eh, mzuri ya kisasa kupitia kwa artificial insemination and i think it is something that we should work on vile bwana kidinji amesema kama serikali tuliona vile vile ni vizuri tuwajumuishe vijana wetu hasa waliosoma katika animal health uh, institutions so last year we asked nys to get animal health um, professionals or technicians to be trained on artificial insemination and that we are going to give them kits so that we can make that facility of artificial insemination uh, available to farmers at the nearest possible location. And we told the uh, National Youth Service to contract at least two animal health professionals or technicians from every county of Kenya. And we are not only going to give them training, but we are going to give them an AI kit at half the price that is available in the market so that they can progressively, we can progressively expand the availability of AI facilities to farmers around the country. And I am happy that the National Youth Service have discharged that responsibility. Today, we have here 463 health technicians properly trained we are going to give them ai kits at half the price we will expect them to pay uh, the other half of the price uh, progressively for 20 months 
And we expect that with this facility, we should be able to reduce the cost of artificial insemination to the farmer. We should be able to reduce the cost of artificial insemination to the farmer. And we will also be able to uh, get more young people involved with their knowledge and expertise in the agricultural sector. In the month of uh, November and December, again, NYS is going to train another 600 animal health technicians, again, to benefit from this program, progressively until we train 1,400 professionals, uh, no, uh, 3,000 professionals for, um, under this program. So progressively, we are going to work with the farming community, county governments, and all other stakeholders to make sure that uh, we roll out that program. Ladies and gentlemen, it is also an occasion for me to uh, inform the farming fraternity that because we take farming seriously, again, we have another program that we are going to roll out another 1,000 milk cooling facilities around the country. We, I have already directed county governments to set up the basic infrastructure so that when we supply these um, milk cooling or milk chilling plants around the country, we will get the benefit of making sure that we have good quality milk because our intention is to progressively professionalize the agricultural sector, to move it from subsistence agriculture to agro-processing, to manufacturing, value addition on the way to industrialization. And the steps that we will take to uh, move our agriculture to where we want it to be requires these small steps, getting the right professionals, giving them the right equipment, getting mechanized um, uh, facilities, enhancing our, uh, our, our um, equipment along the value chain and professionalizing, uh, professionalizing the services so that progressively we can truly make Kenya an industrial country and be able to create using value addition, agro-processing and manufacturing, be able to create more jobs for our young people. That is the progress that we want to move. And I am sure the Ministry of Agriculture has a role to play. The private sector have a role to play. County governments will, uh, must play their role so that we can be able to deliver on this program the whole lot of us for the benefit of the millions of farmers and for the benefit of our country. I think I have said enough for this occasion. I am very happy that 463 young people today will get kits and that they will use these artificial insemination kits to make it that much more easy and affordable and accessible to, for farmers to access artificial insemination and improve the quality of our heart as we progress towards improving the quality of our production and the quality of milk and quality of beef that we get around the country. Ladies and gentlemen, with those many remarks, uh, I want to say thank you very much. I wish you well. The young people, we are going to give you uh, these kids uh, today. We will recruit the next uh, cohort of uh, people to be trained as we uh, promise the country. Thank you very much and God bless you.